hello. Welcome to another video where I'm talking about stuff on Tank's console. So I've been playing quite a bit again recently and I wanted to talk about something. So you may be wondering, why are you on the Matilda? This is part of what I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to play some games while I'm doing this. Let's see how quickly we actually get into a game with the Matilda. So, over the weekend while I was playing, I noticed something. Particularly, about matchmaking, once again, annoyed me significantly. So you might be wondering, what was it? Well, some of you might not know, but some of you might know. This, uh... This thing is preferential matchmaking now. So... This tank won't see anything above tier 5s, ever. Oddly enough, the Hetzer does as well. Would you like to know what tank doesn't have preferential matchmaking? The Valentine! So what tank is worse in every single capacity than the Matilda? That's right! The Valentine! Do you see tier 6 tanks in the Valentine? Yes, yes you fucking do. And it's not okay. It is pretty fucking painful, to be quite honest, trying to grind through that thing. Even against some things in its own tier, it feels really ill-equipped. Am I done with the Valentine already? Yes. Yes, I am. I, I finished that because, uh... You have to play the Valentine in order to uh, get to a specific tank that I wanted. So you know what I did? I played it. I got through it. So I'm free. I'm free from that tank, and that's fine. I'll be starting work on the uh, the tank destroyer line in the near future again. And yes, I say again because uh, I've already done that line once. I'm gonna do it on this account, as well. I wanna see that light tank come around that corner, come on. Actually pinned me! That's cool. go this way because my whole team's disappearing. There is what I was looking for. So now I can just kind of sit here with impunity. Oh, never mind. A motherfucker's actually pinning me. Okay. Just, uh... Because my gunner's dead, this does make this a little bit harder. Like, significantly harder. The question is, is anyone actually gonna push me to, like, try and kill me, or...? No? I 
I love the fact that that M8 literally almost killed itself and didn't kill me. But yeah, this thing has preferential matchmaking. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna put that out there again. Th this thing is preferential matchmaking. There are very few things at its tier that can actually deal with it. This is just casually putting up 1400 damage in a tier four. That's that's fine, yeah. That's 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 cool. It has more than enough men to deal with uh, being bottom tier. It really does, to be honest. And it used to. But they decided to give it preferential matchmaking, which is interesting. Especially when some tanks got left out. And I just had a particular issue with that. The other thing is the stock grind differential between these two particular... Russian heavy tanks. The uh, the stock KV-2 here, by the way, when it is stock, it starts with the 122U11 Alitzer. Big damage HE and heat gun. The first unlock you get is the 152. Okay. The T-150. You start out with a 76 that does not have a whole lot of penetration. Your first gun upgrade is a 57. Then, and only then, can your next gun upgrade be the U11. And then an 85 that actually has decent pen and damage. And then the 107, which makes this tank really good for its tier. The fact that you have literally five different guns to unlock on this tank is baffling to me. And the 57 is the first unlock. The U11 is the fourth. And then the 85 is the fifth. And then you don't get the 107 until the very last upgrade. The very last upgrade. And then, let me, let me go back to the KV-2, shall we? Which, once you get the 152, you really don't need anything else on this tank. Other than the turret, which is the fourth upgrade. And the only thing you unlock from this is the S-51. Meanwhile, if you are like me and getting ready for the, uh, the double barrel tanks. You need to get to the KV-3. So that's why I've been playing the T-150. And the T-150 is not a bad tank. By, by any means, the T-150 is not a bad tank. The problem is the fact that it's a tier C is a tier six tank. Now you may be sitting there wondering what's wrong with tier six tanks. Now just this little thing in that it will be really funny if the game proves me wrong here. But more often than not, I've ended up in tier eight games. I'm not a fan of that. It's been making the grind... ...significantly longer. <laughs> and... I don't appreciate that, to be honest. Oh, hey, look, it's a heavy tier 8 game. Would you look at that? As I was saying about this tank, 
and tier 8 matchmaking. Would you look at that? It's a heavy tier 8 game. So I'm gonna try and do my best here. That jackal is dead. And soon I probably will as well. Cause there's nowhere else really that I can play this tank right here. Oh no, I'm definitely dead. That's a lot of tier eights. No, I'm just dead. A lot of good the little 57 millimeter does when uh, literally everything else will hit you harder and fire almost as fast. Grinding is such a fun experience when you're minus two. That's kind of why I have been interested in playing the Cold War mode significantly more. Because the way that they actually have Cold War laid out is kind of how, to be honest, it's kind of how matchmaking feels like on PC for every tier. There's a lot of things that have been updated to actually contend and stuff doesn't feel like you're basically just cannon fodder like it feels like you can actually legitimately stand a chance against higher tier tanks whereas like the way that they do it with cold war mode here on console is everything that's in an era can kind of fight everything that's in that era Some things I still really question why they have where they are, specifically the uh, the 4005 being in Era 1. Considering the fact that if you get a decent roll on a Hesh pin, you can one-shot just about everything else you can see in Era 1. And I do use that term just about very loosely because a majority of the things you're going to see in Era 1 are medium tanks, white tanks, and they don't have a whole hell of a lot of health, so the 4005 kind of eats them alive. But I digress. Anyways, that's the primary thing I wanted to make a video on. So, yeah. It's just one of the things that I had a problem with since I have been grinding these things over the weekend to see like how it felt and there you go I will be making more content because uh, I am currently trying to fix my sleep schedule and work on some stuff so I'm probably gonna make some more videos potentially might even open up a secondary YouTube channel to just put video content on and have the channel for streams Wads as well. But we'll see. We'll see how things shape up. That might be my next project. But hope y'all enjoyed. Please leave me some feedback in the comments if you'd like to, or like if you want to see me go through and just do like full, like some full match plays. Just go through because I like doing these live because there's very little editing that I have to do to this and you get full unfiltered commentary plus gameplay but if you'd like to see me tackle anything or if you'd like to see me talk about anything even like review stuff if you want to see me review stuff please let me know I'm, I'm down for it I'll also probably feed in some other games from time to time 
but expect more videos. I'm gonna double down on these and see what I can do. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.